Okay, in this video I wanted to demonstrate uh, what it is to use a trapezoidal pattern on an oscilloscope to help uh, gauge whether or not uh, an RF amplifier is actually tuned properly uh, so that uh, there's no out-of-band products uh, being generated uh, that you may not want. So there's a lot of amplifiers out there and uh, uh, the trapezoidal pattern can be used for uh, any RF amplifier and I'll go ahead and uh, show uh, what it looks like in real uh, time here on the uh, AL1500 uh, here coming up. But uh, first uh, we have a couple components here. We have a, a demodulator that establishes a pre-amplifier reference signal and a sampler that uh, provides a post-amplifier reference signal. And as you can see here when it's fully modulated uh, we have our uh, input from channel 1 which is the pre-amplifier signal and the output on channel 2 which is the post-amplifier signal and when combined uh, it generates an XY plot uh, that's very easy and visual to visually to see and what we're really looking for is we're looking at the sides of the trapezoid to make sure uh, the sides uh, are completely straight and in an XY plot uh, on the uh, screen here with no curves or bends or anything like that that would be an indication of uh, a nonlinear service. And uh, so, so that's the idea, the X over Y or X, Y plot on the oscilloscope uh, while we look at the uh, trapezoidal pattern. So that's uh, the basics of uh, the introduction. Uh, to show what some patterns would look like that are not necessarily linear, let me go to my cleanrf.com page and uh, first uh, I have a, a little uh, diagram here that is a conceptual illustration of the trapezoid and you can see here as well uh, we have the uh, straight lines uh, on the sides we have the input power on the uh, horizontal and we have the output power on the vertical and together they generate uh, a good uh, good looking pattern some uh, nonlinearity uh, events could be seen in these figures here, these three figures. The uh, top would be an indication of uh, amplifier compression or flat topping, uh, either overdriving or underloading the amplifier or both. Uh, the uh, middle pattern is uh, really bizarre. And the bottom pattern is a, a gross example of under-biased amplifiers uh, when you get a concaved uh, pattern. And that concave pattern, or all of those, uh, would uh, end up uh, looking a little like this, uh, where you have a, a very narrow single sideband signal. Uh, but as you can see, there is quite a bit of uh, products being generated uh, outside of the baseband signal, which in this case is uh, just about 2,900 hertz or so. And uh, you can see as the uh, person stops talking there how clean uh, the spectrum returns to its... Uh, unused uh, state. So really important to uh, tune things. Well in this demonstration of the AL1500 uh, I have a, a carrier here of 600 watts as you can see on the meter and we're gonna go ahead and uh, reference that on the oscilloscope here to plus okay, and minus one Okay we've established division. our plus and minus one division reference here on the scope at 600 watts. Now what we'll do is we'll come back to voice mode and we'll be modulating and when our trapezoid hits plus and minus two divisions that will be a four times increase in RF output and let's see how the meters react and the sides of the trapezoid as you can see are completely straight representing perfect input versus output uh, uh, conditions in the linear service so this is a quick test transmission of the oscilloscope adjustment and uh, if you look at the uh, PEP indication below, uh, it does not represent uh, anything near uh, the amount of uh, peak envelope power that's actually being uh, presented. Uh, anyway, this is the uh, trapezoidal pattern in the XY plot. And uh, as you could see there, that was almost 2400 watts uh, as, the, uh, as the scope was indicating when the amplifier was correctly retuned. And that's why it's really nice to use a scope to measure your peak envelope power as well uh, when uh, 
uh, tuning and uh, uh, not only uh, looking at uh, amplifier linearity, but also peak envelope power. I'm Tyler, amateur radio operator, Kilo Alpha Zero, Kilo Alpha 7.3.